Well, just a couple of weeks ago, the city of Waterville was fighting back all of these floodwaters. It was so bad that dozens of National Guard soldiers were deployed to help out. So how's the community doing tonight? Our Rob Olson joins us there with a live look at the recovery efforts going on and still a lot of water, Rob. Yeah, a lot of water. It's gone down a lot, though. Uh, where I'm standing at the height of the flood, this was probably waist deep, if not a little bit higher, based on the marks you see around here. There's a lot of people that have been able to begin cleanup because of how much it has dropped. As you can see, though, others are still waiting for it to go down even further. For some, the cleanup, uh, based on, again, this slow recession of water, the cleanup has only just begun. Bucket by bucket, Margie Jacobson's front yard is now the new home of what invaded her basement. This isn't a small fix. Um, it's going to be months. Inside, volunteers from a Canadian relief agency called Samaritan's Purse cleaned the muck that poured in when the foundation gave way. Margie was on vacation in England when the floods first hit Waterville two and a half weeks ago. Those waters have receded about three feet now, but very slowly over the past week and a half. Many have begun the cleanup of sandbags and ruined possessions, but not all. Initially, Margie could only keep up with efforts to save her home remotely. Awesome neighbors and volunteers. I mean, I couldn't believe how many people were here to help sandbag. I could see them on my security cameras. I couldn't tell who they were. Across the street, Lila Bonger's home is still mostly surrounded. Oh, I'll bet you there's probably 10,000 here. <laughs> the water reached the top of those thousands of sandbags and pushed the whole wall about two feet towards her house. In the end, only flooded her garage. My one freezer was floating. But they let that dry out, plugged it back in, and it started working. Like hers, there are still a number of other homes along the two lakes in town still waiting for the water to go down more. In one neighborhood, no running water now because a water main break needs the waters to recede more before it can be repaired. A lot of cleanup still must wait. I bet you at least six weeks, if not longer. And wait, too, for answers about all the state and federal help they can get, since many here didn't carry flood insurance. Right now, I'm waiting on FEMA. And then, you know, I understand it's a wait, but it, it's what I got. Yeah, remarkably upbeat, the people I talked to today about the uh, the cleanup that lies ahead. And again, uh, trying to get the uh, help. The Red Cross and Salvation Army have been in town as well, assisting where they can. Uh, the public works facility has been open for people to bring flood debris and drop that off and bring sandbags back. But again, many are still waiting for this to continue to go down more and think it could be weeks until it really finally does drop. And they can really begin a lot of this in earnest. Live in Waterville, Robles and Fox 9. Rob, they must all be so exhausted, but so good to see so many people jumping in to help out.